The Atlantic wolffish finds himself a hideaway in crevices and conceals himself there, only giving the game away when he's threatened. Then he opens his mouth and gives you a nasty show of his formidable set of choppers. It's a hard life down in the depths, and each species has developed its own way of avoiding becoming someone else's dinner. The sea scorpion changes colour to blend in with its surroundings. Here we can see how adept he is at camouflage in this many-hued sea garden. He is adorned with an impressive armour of spikes, guaranteed to make him hard to swallow should any creature fancy him for supper. Although he is a nimble swimmer, he also has a trick up his sleeve when he stays so still that he could be mistaken for a rocky outcrop. The lumpfish are also a master of disguise and can easily conceal themselves in the seaweed as we see them here. They have suckers on their bellies which they can use to attach themselves to fronds of vegetation. Here we see lump sucker, as they are also called, well hidden in their surroundings. The lumpfish has other clever ways of avoiding the dinner plate. He has bony plates under the skin that make him a tough nut to crack and his bulbous shape make him hard to swallow for bigger predators that might try to take him in one big gulp. Its nest though needs constant protection and the lumpfish guards it with fervour. Here is one of the strangest partnerships in the ocean. Haddock fry are often seen swimming amongst the poisoned tentacles of the jellyfish where other fish would instantly perish. Here the fry find a refuge at the most vulnerable stage of their lives. Why the jellyfish lets them off the hook is a mystery. Scythe or Pollock have other tactics. Here it's a matter of safety in numbers, together with lightning speed. A large shoal of shimmering fish moving about at a speed is pretty daunting quarry. For some species, the seabed provides warmth and cover. Pretending to be part of the seabed is a good way to hide. Another way is to stir up the mud and sand and vanish in a cloud of dust, as the star array is seen to do here. Sometimes it is known to squeeze itself into a ball, which makes its spikes stand out in defence. Flatfish are able to lie on the seabed and in the blinking of a flatfish eye have adapted the upside skin to completely mimic the seabed around. Burying yourself in the sand is also a good way of staying out of trouble. The redfish believes that by playing dead he is invisible. Feigning that he's got some pretty formidable stingers that fishery workers avoid at their peril. The red colour he gets his name from is another tool, as red waves of light travel shorter distances in the sea. Although there is no particular information about how cod protect themselves, divers have noticed that when a shoal detects a danger, a scout is sent out to assess, rather than the whole tribe. If the scout gets taken, another volunteer is sent out to patrol. Something worth investigating.